The what you are seeing isn't a team of VFX artists. This isn't a million dollar Hollywood studio. That's me in this room with my iPhone and one new AI tool that just changed the game forever. Runway Act 2. And in the next minutes, I'm going to show you how this new feature can turn you into literally any character you can imagine. We are talking about advanced motion capture, now with full body, face and hands tracking. And we will put it to detailed test. Act 2 is an AI human hybrid performance acting tool. It's a full scene transformation powered by your acting and a single image. No green screen, no fancy setup, just a video of you and the one image or video clip to guide the look. It transforms you to any character, even non-human. Now let me show you a product ad to demonstrate what can be done with Act 2 with your favorite director Capybara. Do you fart in front of your girlfriend? Okay, Vanessa, you're overreacting to his fart now. Good, now you're showing the product and say some cool sounding bullshit about it. Use Fart Bust for a fart-free digestion. It's the best for everyone. You, me, society. <laughs> Why I'm here, detective? Evidence shows you are the one who farted. We collected micro fart particles from the carpet. Am I going to prison? No. Postmodern art exhibition. Okay, Vanessa. Now you're at the postmodern art gallery just staring at that damn carpet. Now say some philosophical bullshit. When I look at it, I saw a deeper message from the maker of this carpet. It's entropy, self-indulging in love and peace without a consciousness. And cut. This will sell like hotcakes. I can already feel the Oscar award in my hands. Okay, first of all, how to find Act 2. For that, you need to go to app.runwayml.com and here under video tab, you will find Act 2 right in the bottom. So once you find it, first you need to add a driving performance. This is where you record yourself or your friends. You can use your voice, gestures and facial expressions. The maximum performance you can upload is 30 seconds. And let me show you one example of a performance that you can upload. Use Fart Bust for a fart-free digestion. And after this, you need to choose a character. In my case, I'm going to upload this image. And then Runway Act 2 will match my performance with this character's appearance. Once you add these two inputs, you need to decide on some of the settings. For Runway Act 2, gestures will be default on. And frankly, it says gestures, but it's actually full body tracking. And I would highly recommend you to have this turned on because then it will copy all of the gestures, your hand and arm and shoulder movements, even full body, which I will show you in a second. 
And second element is facial expressiveness. I wouldn't mind this setting so much. I actually keep it around three as a default setting and most of the time it will do a great job. Hit generate. Generation will start and this will give you this end result. Use fart dust for a fart free digestion. If you are holding an object in your right hand, in the image, character should also hold a product in her right hand. If left hand is empty, it's better to keep the left hand empty. If you use these tips, your results will look much better. For me, highlight of this Runway Act 2 release is definitely gestures and body tracking. Here in this example, you can see that the skeleton character perfectly matches my arm and hand movements and wrapping exactly in a way that I am singing which is super cool. In this example, I'm doing with my left hand this no, no sign. And in the video, reference character doing exactly same. It is so precise that you can see in the second part of my performance, my finger and hand is slightly in front of my face and it still successfully gets that and it renders it perfectly. And in this shot, you will also realize that background animation is also dynamic. So in most of the shots, actually Runway Act 2 does a very good job with animating elements in the background, especially things like ocean, rain, snow. These are rendered well, but you need to know that it's not perfect. But here you will realize that it actually animated the ocean nicely, but the monkey on the background is a little bit more static. And here in this shot, behind of the model, some people are moving, but audience is mostly static. With Runway Act 2, it's possible to track all of your body, and so your full body performance will be reflected in the final video. In the end of this performance, I turn around, and character does exactly the same thing. We will realize some coherence problems with the face. So Runway Act 2 is not perfect, but overall it's a good result. In this other example, I'm doing the air guitar thing. I'm playing a guitar and dog, and the old man in the suit perfectly tracks my movement. You can simply use Runway Act 2 for acting. In this example, I was acting like the commissioner here. Since this is a close-up shot, my acting, my face expressions, and how I say things is more important here. And it will help you to act in a very specific way. And some of the other lip-syncing tools out there don't allow you. This gives you some creative freedom. And once you generate your footage, you can always upscale it to 4K using the button on the corner here. Probably one of the questions in your mind is multi-character. So what happens if there are like multiple characters in the same shot? So if there are like multiple characters in your image, most of the time it lip syncs the character closest to the camera, as you can see right here. Before we continue, please subscribe and turn the notification bell on to hear latest updates about the future of AI storytelling. But I also observed cases where both of the characters talk, especially if both characters are in similar distance to the camera as we see it. And rarely I had these cases where suddenly a third character appears. So in this particular shot, it didn't break the logic, even though it drifted quite apart from the original reference image. I still kept it, but this may happen. And I don't want to show you only successful examples. I will also show you what won't work. If your character in the reference image holding two objects in both hands, sometimes tracking goes off. There's like an energy field in her one hand. In the other one, there is a sword. But in this performance, things got mixed up a little bit. Some animal faces as a reference image won't work. I mean, this cute capybara didn't work. How can you say no to this? I mean, this is such a heartbreaking thing. If your character is facing to sides or face isn't entirely visible, it will give error, which is obvious. So you need to pick reference images where character's face is mostly visible. And here in the beginning of the ad, she was actually showing this digestion pills, the fart bust. And you may be asking like, how is it possible that she's holding this product? So for this job, I'm using Higgsfield AI's product placement. You can use this to simply use your own products if you are in e-commerce. You need to go to Canvas and choose product. And once you are here, you need to upload an image where she's holding a mock-up product with size maybe similar to your own product, no brand. Once you upload it, take the brush and select the product exactly. And then you need to come here and upload the image of your own product. I generated fart bust packaging, the product itself, using C-Dream. After clicking on product, I'm uploading fart bust right here. And you don't need to enter any prompt or anything. You just hit generate. And it will give you four different options that you can choose from. And they are actually pretty good. 
of course, some issues with the smaller text that you will realize it's not perfect, but your main brand will definitely look good. And then you can use this with Runway Act 2 or with Google VO3 even. There's another cool thing you can do with Runway Act 2, and this is what I called body or scene swap. Imagine you recorded a performance, and here you can in-paint this performance. You can change outfit of your character, face, and also background. And you can place this character to a completely different place. To achieve this, you will need the first frame of your performance, and then you need to in-paint this first frame. So on CapCut, it's easy to take the first frame. You can go to the beginning of clip, click on here, and you choose export still frames and it will export this initial frame of your video performance and after that come back to Higgs field and on canvas choose the body of the character exactly like this and just prompt something like photorealistic Batman suit. Hit generate and this will give you again four options that you can choose from and I picked this one. Now go back to runway act two, upload this initial frame and hit generate. This is gonna be the end result. What you are seeing isn't a team of VFX artists. This isn't a million dollar Hollywood studio. One thing you will realize here, again, my face changed a little bit. You can do same thing with variety of different and funny results. You can change the character's head, for example. Maybe your character wears a Miami style shirt or a Superman outfit. I mean, look at this face, for Christ's sake. Handsome here. This brings us again to 11 laps because for this reference performances, you will be using your own voice. And if you have a character with a different voice, like a woman, for example, you need to change it again using voice changer on 11 laps. In the 11 laps, all you need to do is clicking on voice changer, simply upload the output from runway act two right here and choose a voice from right hand side. We can choose a female voice here to make it sound more realistic. And then once you upload all of these, hit generate speech. And this is how it will sound like. It's the best for everyone. You, me, society. And for some of the shots you saw in the initial videos with my own face, I'm using again Higgs field to training a character with multiple photos of me. It works really well. So I would highly recommend you to try that. And for some of the consistent scenes you saw on the product ad, I use runway references because it's super easy to use it. You just upload a single shot and you can create some consistent characters using the references feature. So you don't need 10, 15 photos of the same character, which really simplifies things. And it's also possible to use it with multiple characters. So I have the image of commissioner here and this image of Oksana. And I wrote like they are sitting in the same room together. And you have this shot where both consistent looking characters sitting together in the same room. Now, hopefully this video was truly helpful for you. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more in-depth tutorials. If you want to learn more about future of storytelling, click here.